Please like, share and subscribe to the channel please. One for each of you. Okay. So, we have two guys that have to answer questions. What did you do on Mid-Autumn Festival? Played. Played? You didn't do anything special with your family? You know what? What did you do by your, that? Your answer was the most popular answer so far. You just did nothing. Yeah. And last class, there was three girls here, Mid-Autumn Festival, they slept all day when they weren't in school. So, what is the best thing about Mid-Autumn Festival? Mm, I think it's like the lion dance. The lion dance, yeah, and I saw the lion dance too. <laughs> okay, and what do you think of your new teacher? Kind of a surprise, isn't she? So we better give one to her too. Okay, now everybody has one. Thank now you. in Canada, or North America, we actually don't have Mid Autumn Festival, but in the fall, because it's fall in Canada right now, we have a holiday called Thanksgiving. And I think it is very similar because what we do is we give thanks for a good harvest, Mid Autumn Harvest, right? And even if you saw last night, if you looked in the sky, what was the moon? What was the moon? It was a full moon, like a big harvest, they call it a harvest moon. Yeah. And it's to give thanks to a good autumn or a good harvest. That's what they're thanking. And in Canada, we celebrate, I believe, our Thanksgiving in October. And the Americans down in the USA, they celebrate their Thanksgiving in November. Yeah. And they go really crazy because they do big football events. But in Canada and in the U.S., usually at Thanksgiving, we cook a special meal, which is a turkey, generally a big turkey. Like it's like eight chickens put together. Yeah, big, huge, and it's yummy. I like it better than chicken. Okay, so what other festivals do you have? What's, what's, it's just the end of September now, and you heard me in there, all the noise, what festival is in October that a lot of kids celebrate? Um, Halloween. Mm -hmm. yeah. Halloween. And what do you have? What, what do you have in it with Halloween? Who? Uh, okay. Let, let's 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 play a game. Let's pretend. Um, uh, how do we do it? I'm going to act it out, and you see if you can guess what I am. I'm going to suck your blood! What's that? He's got sharp teeth, and he drinks human blood. Dracula! Good. Vampires! Yes. So on Halloween, many children will pretend and dress like vampires or Dracula. They'll have blood running down and they'll have plastic teeth. Um, what's another one? Ghost. Ghost, yeah. Ghosts are very famous too. Um, <laughs> how about you? It's usually, it's always women. Witch. Yeah, witches. <laughs> Witches. Now, what's a male witch called? War warlock. Warlock is the male witch. Okay, so a man witch, warlock. Warlock and witches. Um, how about a black cat? What is a black cat? Is that good luck or bad luck? Bad luck. Bad luck. If a black cat crosses in front of you, bad luck. And how about how about this one? I can't sit down doing this. Oh. Mummies, yeah. Not a zombie, but mummies. Yeah. Zombies are, are some sort of long after 
But yeah, you'll see in North America, lots of kids will dress up as mummies and now zombies. Um, there's a mad scientist that brought a, a man back to life from the dead. And he's big and green, and he's got gigantic feet, and his name starts with F. What? Frankenstein! And it's funny because there's some real funny movies about Frankenstein. So yeah. So those are the main things. And what is the pumpkin that they carve out? What do they call that? Pumpkin like Jack Jack O'Lantern. Chibi đỏ, pumpkin là chibi đỏ. Yeah, so good. So what other holidays then? We got Halloween. Who's, does anybody celebrate Halloween? You do? You like to dress up? Yeah, so, so it depends on who your teacher is. Because some places, uh, some teachers will get everybody to dress up and have fun. You don't get a lot of candy. In North America, You, we go, our kids go around and they say, trick or treat, and the people, whoosh, you guys celebrate. Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year, and for the Vietnamese, what is that, what, what festival happens? In China, it's the Chinese New Year, but what what do you call it in Vietnam? Vietnam thì sao? Tết thì sao? Yeah, Tet holiday, right? That's where you get your lucky money. And kids your age for Christmas, parents will buy them like some new clothes, but at your age, probably give money so you can buy what you want. Yeah, just like you get lucky money. Okay, what other holidays? <coughs> what other festivals? Teacher Day, maybe you know it. Yeah, it's Teacher Day. Teacher Day. What other, how about this day? Oh, Valentine's Day. Oh, no, no. And I think Valentine's Day, what is the holiday this year in 2024? February what? Uh, uh, I think it, yeah, or fourth or the ninth or something. When's when's Valentine's Day? Fourteenth. Oh. Fourteenth so February. Yeah, I think Valentine's Day happens during your dead holiday. Yeah, so you'll have to remember to get flowers for your mother, or maybe flowers for your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Just get flowers for your mother. Okay, what other holiday? Anything else? What happens in the spring? Tanning ba? Boing, 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 boing. Oh, Easter. Yeah. There's a magical bunny rabbit called the Easter Bunny, but in reality, it's a religious holiday. Good Friday and Easter Monday. So, if you're religious and there's Catholic religion here in Vietnam, it Good Friday is the day that people killed the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and hung or stuck him on a cross to die. But then they took him down when he was dead, and they put him in a cave and put a gigantic rock in front of him. And then they came back three days later, Easter Monday, and they moved that great big rock what was in the cave? Nothing. Good. The animals we keep on a farm, like cows and sheep. What do they call them? Livestock. Livestock. Boom. You you know it all today. You're rocking them. Okay. Livestock. Work like growing and watering, weeding and harvesting. Starts with a G. Garden. Garden. Not all that. Gardening. Gardening. You weed, you plant, you uh, grow, you water, gardening. And then at the end, when it grows, you pick it or you harvest it. A traditional musical instrument. Musical instrument. Yeah, but what? 
a traditional musical instrument? Uh, yeah, drum. I don't, I've never heard of it. Drum? Drum? Yeah. What is it? Drum. Drum? Oh, and dancing. Okay. A large room for community activities. A large room for community activities. No? Think of community. The first word is similar to community. Community là cộng đồng. Communal house. Correct. Well done. You guys are very active and you participate good. But I should. Next week I'm off. But I have three more weeks. So I hope I'm back here. But uh, if not, keep up the good work. You guys, it, it's... What's the easiest part of learning English? The easiest part. Uh, what's the easiest? Do, do, saying words and learning words, is that easy? How about, what's the hardest part of English? Um, Grammar, but isn't grammar you learn that in school and it's boring? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Boring. Yeah. But how about speaking it? Is it hard or easy? No, I think so. You think it's easy? We're not talking though. And you know what? They're they're the majority. The majority of students, they're not talking. Why? Shy, but why? When you take English at school, how do the teachers teach you? Do they speak in English or do they speak in Vietnamese? No. Yes. What? What? Yes, yes. What's yes? What language? Vietnamese. So that is, in my opinion, the hardest reason why you guys and girls find it hard because when you were babies just like me a long long time ago how did you learn Vietnamese who did you listen to your parents right and did your parents teach you Vietnamese by speaking English no you listen to Vietnamese so that's the secret Try and listen to as much English as you can, because if you're not getting it at school, go to home, listen to your music, talk to your friends, practice your English, read it out loud, watch English TV shows, play online games, but in English. And then all of a sudden, the shyness goes away, and then you can be like you, blah, 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 blah. Because you have confidence that you can speak. And you say grammar, the thing that you must remember, don't worry about grammar or tenses when you're speaking. If you worry about it, ooh, I might say it wrong, it will cripple you. We don't worry if we say something wrong. If we don't know the 12 tenses, we just know now, yesterday or before and the future so yesterday we did this today i'm doing this tomorrow i will do that i'm not thinking tenses just talk and the more you listen to natural english people talking it's just like you learn Japanese. all of a sudden one day you'll just start thinking in english and it happened to a chinese boy that lived at our house he had to speak English for a whole month. Just like that. He woke up. <gasps> Dan! It goes in in English. There's no Mandarin translation. Out in English. And it...